In this video, I'm going to teach you five tips for getting a return offer. Now, I've done three internships, two at large tech companies, and by implementing these tips, and by having a little bit of luck, I was able to get a return offer at all three of my internships. If I can do it, you can do it too. So let's get into it. Tip one is knowing how to ask questions. Now trust me, literally the worst thing you can do as an intern is sit there for a week without knowing what to do and not asking anyone for help. Nobody is going to measure you on the amount of questions you ask during your internship. Uh, Susie actually asked 53 questions during her internship. That's a bit above the threshold, so I don't think we should give her the offer. Yeah, that's just not gonna happen. <laughs> However, you don't wanna be asking people questions 24 seven, cause that can come off as annoying. At the end of the day, you're measured on your ability to get stuff done, and to do that, you'll need to ask your teammates the right questions. Some great advice I got from past teammates is to circle between your team when asking questions so you don't annoy one person too much, and also to make a legitimate effort at solving the problem so that when you come to your teammate, you can show them your progress. At the end of the day, I think that's better than coming up and asking, uh, I don't understand anything, what do I do? Tip two is to try your best to be likable. Now, some people will phrase this as try to be cool, but maybe you're not that cool. Maybe you're kind of like me, you're pretty lame, so I'm instead going to challenge you to be likable. It's much easier to implement. I understand that not everyone has a super outgoing and funny personality, and I think that's totally fine. I think the main thing is just to try your best to bring a positive attitude to work every day. So by bringing a positive attitude, it's more likely that people will enjoy working with you. In a remote internship, this might be a little difficult, so my best advice is just to try your best to be positive when you're communicating virtually with your team. Try your best to smile in meetings or maybe just like send some emojis when you chat with people every now and then. Now keep in mind, this isn't something that people are going to measure. Of course, nobody's going to be like, I think I saw Susie smile like 28 times this week. We should definitely give her that return offer. Of course, this isn't going to happen. However, in most companies, the manager either makes the return offer decision or needs to fight for you for you to get it. So if they like you, there's a much better chance of that happening. Tip three is to always ask your manager for feedback. I think this is one of the most important tips and I see most interns never doing this. Asking whether you're on track to get the return offer if you continue doing what you're doing is awkward and intimidating, but understand that your manager knows that you want that return offer. And honestly, sometimes it can be uncomfortable for them to bring up the things you're doing wrong to you as well. By explicitly asking them, you remove some of this awkwardness and make it much easier for yourself to correct course throughout the internship. You'll basically be asking them to work together with you to get that return offer at the end of the internship, and subconsciously, they'll be rooting for you to succeed. Tip four is to take initiative. Once you're settled in, you can try to expand the scope of your project, improve other parts of the code base, or just make your code last beyond the length of your internship. You can do this by documenting your code well, figuring out who's responsible after you leave, making sure your code gets into production, and making sure your work is visible. I think just trying to do something a little bit extra will set you apart from the other interns and it'll show initiative. Of course, this will be much more difficult during a remote internship, but try your best to make a plan and communicate with your team often so that you can make this a possibility. Tip five is to learn how to present your work and this does not just apply to your internship, this will follow you for the rest of your career. During your career, you'll find that there's engineers who get a ton of work done but who always sell themselves short. You also find engineers who get much less work done, but everything that they do seems monumental. Whether we like it or not, learning to showcase your work is an important part of every software engineer's career, which is why you should start learning it during your internship. However, as an intern, my advice is just to create work that you're truly proud of, and that'll shine through when you're presenting it to your team. And on that note, if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe because you would not want to miss another insightful video like this, would you? And other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.